Hi everyone, Kerry the Crafter here, that's C-E-R-I the Crafter. Um, thought to do a little project this morning, I thought I'd just turn the camera on. Um, obviously if you're looking for me on social media, this is where you'll find me, Kerry the Crafter. Or my Etsy store is actually Kerry the Crafter. You might see a theme here guys. Um, my Etsy store only sells digital, so don't go there looking for physical products. I haven't got any. Now what I want to do is, my desk, like everyone's crafter's desk, can be a little disorganized. I thought, right, I'm going to treat myself and buy myself one of those holdalls for tools. So what I did is I went out and I bought one of these. Um, it's the Craft Creations Carry Caddy Kit, and it's made of MDF. Um, I bought it off the KTC Designs website. I will try and remember to link in the description box, box below. So if you're watching this, in this corner down here, you'll see a little grey triangle. Click on that and the link should be in there. No guarantees because IT and I don't always speak together. So anyway, I thought I'd open this up with you and see how user-friendly it is and how easily I can get through it. Now I had a look and apparently all I need is wood glue, so I've just decided PVA glue works perfectly well for that. That's not a problem. Um, got myself a bit of a paintbrush because I think I might need it if I've got to tidy up as I go along. How much was this? This was in British pounds and it was 10.99. So let's, let's open it up and see how easy it is. I didn't find an instruction video and I didn't see instructions, but it does say easy assembly. So I think even I can probably do this one. So let's take that out. Now, I like the color of MDF, so I'm not going to paint this, but I would say if you are going to decorate it up, now is probably the time that I would paint it before you assemble it. But knowing how MDF works, make sure you don't paint over the edges of here, because that will maybe make it a bit too much of a tight fit. So let's take the pieces out and have a look. Right, well, I'm keeping this because, as you know, I do journals. That's a good bit of grey board there. That's a journal cover in itself. So what have we got, right? Um, let's have a look. So I'm guessing that's the handle. Um, I know there's bars along the sides. That's got to be one side. That's got to be the other side. Um, these have got to be the ends. And I'm assuming... I'm assuming this goes in here like this. Yeah, this, this must be the middle of it. Okay, right, so let's have a bit of a dry run. I always like to do a dry run if I'm doing any assembly, just so I don't assume I've got it right, because us guys don't like to read instructions, do we? Right, so there you go, that's, that's those bits. Um, I'm assuming this fits on the side. Fits uh, really nice, no need to jam anything in there. That, I'm assuming fits. Come on, you can do it. Where's, where's the hole? Have I got this backwards or something? No, it's just me, I'm not lining things up. There you go, that slots in nicely. Ooh, and there's a handle that needs to be slotted in before I glue it as well at the top. Right, okay, now I know how this fits. And I'm a, yes, the pieces glue across around. Let's actually start doing a bit of the assembly on this. So let's have a look at this. As I said, I'm, I'm not the greatest at this sort of stuff. So if I can do it, anyone can do it. Okay, so I'm guessing the very first thing I need to do is to glue this lot down to here. Now, if I was to try and glue in these gaps, I'd probably end up with a bit of a mess. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a line of glue down the places where I know it's going to be. Let's hope my PVA comes out. There you go. There you go. Yeah, and across there. Um, I suppose you could use another glue if you wanted. Um, another wood bonding glue. There's certainly plenty of them out there. So let's take that again and have I got that right? It goes that way, doesn't it? Slot that together. One, two, three. There you go. All clipped down. Now the first thing I want to do at this point is I'm going to get myself a bit of kitchen towel and just tidy up those joints. I'm doing it by pressing down on the top of the MDF and I'm doing that so that my moving this isn't moving any pieces around. All I'm doing is just having a bit of a tidy up. I want to make sure that contact is made. So.
Now, if you were someone who wanted to be a little more arty than I'm going to be, as I said, unlike the MDF colours, you could come in now and actually just put um, panels of coloured paper or something in there just to give it a bit of a background. So I'm just tidying up those joints. I don't want to see any blue, and I know PVA actually dries clear, but you know what? I don't want to see lumps of clear stuff. So there you go, so that's all there nicely in place. Now my thinking is I should probably assemble this on its side. Bear with me with this thinking, because I'm thinking that way gravity will help me. So if I put this to one side, that's obviously going in there. And then I've got this piece which will slot into here, or should I say this piece which will slot into here. Now I'm guessing the other bit goes on top. So again, I'm going to come in now this time. Where does that go to? It goes to about there. I'm just going to put a bit of my glue here. And here. And here. I think I must have cut the hole a little bit large on my PVA. Because goodness knows there's enough of it coming out. That side, that side. So that's in place. There you go. Now I'm going to need to use gravity to put this on again. So I'm going to come down here. There. Now I've already seen a flaw in my plan because I have to slot this on here. So I'm going to put a little bit there and there and there. And that, in my humble opinion, will work. So I'm going to slot that up over the top, drop that down into place. Slots together beautifully, loving that. I'm just going to come in from behind here might not be able to see this, but I don't want to tip this up to show you because I don't want any problems with things moving around. So I'm actually just going to use my paintbrush that I had before and just tidy up any seams just by cleaning them up with my paintbrush. And what that's actually doing is that's putting the glue back into the seams as well. There you go, that's one side. And that's the other side. Now. I would say the next obvious thing is I need to slot this on top. Now there is, when you look at MDF, there's the side that's usually clean and there's the side that usually has a bit of a scorch mark where the um, laser has cut it. It's not that um, obvious on this one, so I'm not going to worry. I'm just going to slot this so this will slot onto here. So next thing I need to do, now this for once I'm going to I'm going to glue directly onto um, the gaps here purely because if I try and put glue on then turn it upside down I don't think I'm going to do a good job of it so a little bit there 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 All right, let's see if I can put this on without moving all the pieces around too much that slots into there it's obviously designed well, so it slots together really nicely. Or it would if I lined it up. There you go. A little bit of a press down just to make sure everything's nice and secure. Now I'm just going to gently lift this up. I'm going to turn it over to the other side because as you can see, it's nicely tight together. But I just want to make sure that I've glued it all properly. And again, I want to just tidy up these gaps down here. Sorry, with only one, one camera pointing at me, it's not the easiest thing to show you all the different sides I need to look at. So, now, something I'm going to do, just to make sure I've got a nice tight grip on all of this, is I'm just going to use some regular washi tape. Any washi tape will do. I'm using washi tape because I want to be able to remove it afterwards. And I'm actually just going to tape over some of these joints just to make sure they're fully held together and they're nice and tight. Let's see if I can turn this over the other side again. I 
I don't know whether this is necessary. I mean, I haven't put a lot of MDF pieces together before in the past, so this is just me erring on the side of caution. So now I know that that's all there, all nicely in one place. Let's see if I can pick this up. So I've got the start of the box that I'm building. As you can see, it's all getting there. I'm going to now stick on these bars. Now I'm guessing, yep, they do. They fit perfectly on there. So I'm going to put glue into the gaps here and in the middle as well and then stick them on. Let's have it. Oh, does that one go all the way to the bottom as well? Right, so I need to run a thread of glue along there as well. This is the point at which I wish my PVA glue was a little bit thinner nozzle. And a bit down there. Sit that into place. Run my fingers along just to make sure I've tidied up the edges. Now, again, I'm going to put a little bit of washi tape on the edges. As I said, I don't think it's necessary. I just feel I want to make sure that's fully in contact with its gluing. I mean, anyone out there who's done MDF before probably will know the best way to do this. But as I said, I haven't got instructions, so I'm just I'm just going for this using common sense. So again, a little bit along there, a little bit along there, a little bit along there. Let's put the top one in. Again, give it a bit of a push down so it's in place and fully in contact. I'm just going to put a little bit of tape over this one. A little bit of tape over this one. I'm wondering whether I might decorate this afterwards. Actually, if I decide to decorate this, guys, I might just do it as a, as a second video. Because I don't need to go on forever with this. A bit of glue, a little bit of glue, a little bit of glue. Again, well I must admit this is designed really well. Everything fits into itself. No, we just run out of washi. Oh well, there you go. Let's see if I can find another washi in a minute. Where would I put washi? Let's just grab another roll of washi, guys. Let's use that one. There you go. So, if you're anything like me, you've got more than enough washi to spare. My trouble is, where have I put it, is usually my question. Right, so put that on that side. Again, knowing this isn't fully glued yet. It isn't fully dried, should I say. Turn it over. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Now, you may ask yourself, why am I not doing this? speed it up or anything. That's because I just wanted to see how long it took to do it in real time. I'd see how long this would have taken me to construct it. So press that down, wipe off the excess. MDF. Now I have read that the MDF from Craft Creations and KTC Designs because they are both one one and the same pretty much, is formaldehyde free. Not sure what that means, but apparently it's a healthier sort of um, MDF. So just in case you're looking at other, other factors. And put another one on there. Slot in. There you go. It's my fault, not its fault. Good old fumble fingers again. and the very last piece slot that into here nicely clicks together There you go, so it's all nicely put together. It already feels quite robust. I'm liking the design of this. I mean, I could use this for 
herbs and spices in the kitchen. I mean, I'm obviously going to put my brushes and my glues and stuff into it. But you could use this for lots of different things. I think when I bought it on the website, there were actually images of people had plant pots growing in this. Some had herbs and spices. I guess you could even put a couple of bottles of drink in this, but I don't know what the strength is as far as weight goes. So I'm going to set that to side and let it fully dry on me. And there you go. Um, did I find it easy? Yes, I did. It took me under 15 minutes to put it together. And believe me, I wasn't rushing in the first place, so there's no problem with that. Um, what was it called again? It was called MDF Carry Kit. It was from Craft Creations. It's also on the KTC Designs website. As I said, I'll try and put that in the description underneath. It's, um, let's see, £10.99 in British money. I couldn't find the price of it in American, but then that's because my search engine thinks I'm living in Britain, which I am, so it doesn't always show me Americans. But you can work it out from there. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that, guy. It's, guys and girls, it's a bit of a make. We'll, we'll take a look. I'll see whether I can show you it afterwards. As I said, I'm not sure that I might actually even just white gesso the ends of this just so I can decorate it up a bit. I don't know. As I said, I like the whole MDF look. So this is me signing off. Um, remember, if you want to find me on social media, here you go. Look for Kerry the Crafter. If you're into cake, guess what? It's Kerry the Cake, if you're into cake. Um, if you're looking for my Etsy shop, look for Kerry the Crafter. Favourite my shop, and then you'll get notified whenever I put a new product on. All of my products are digital downloads. Um, I work mainly on junk journaling, any ephemera pieces, background papers. So it'd be nice to see you there. So, as I said, this is Kerry the Crafter signing off. C-E-R-I, the crafter. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye now.